It's cheap homesteading here and I thought I'm going to take a few minutes and we're going to go over the equipment I use. When I started beekeeping, I really, really researched uh, what equipment I'm going to use. I thought, well, am I going to go top bar hive? Am I going to go uh, wary hive? Am I going to use Langstroth? And it just became obvious to me that there's a lot of equipment around uh, for Langstroth hives and it's easy to purchase stuff if you have to purchase it and I thought okay this is the way to go but we have to do a little more of a um, holistic approach to beekeeping but just use a Langstroth box uh, there's no reason why you can't because a Langstroth box is a box a hole it's like a tree there's no reason why you can't use the Langstroth system and do it more in a natural way um, just how you manage your hives and what you do to your hives and how you treat your hives or not treat your hives. So that is why I chose what the equipment I chose just because it is used, uh, there's a lot of it used and sometimes we just don't have to uh, like reinvent the wheel every time we have a problem. We just got to look at what we can do to uh, change it enough that it works better for us. So that's basically what I use. So basically a standard Langstroth hive consists of a lid and an inner cover. So this is where it starts to change because I use a piece of 3 plywood with a notch for my inner cover. Um, they do warp a little bit but I normally use a fairly good sized rock on top of the lid so the lids don't blow off so I've never had a real issue with it. And here's the hole inside. Uh, so this is how they come in and out. So when you have the notch and the cover on top, you have a 3 8 hole for them to come in and out. And they just seem to, uh, that, that's just awesome for them. And it's good venting for moisture. So the next thing I do is run foundationless frames. Some people use strips of wax for the bees to build their comb on. Uh, I think it's so much more economical and less time consuming over the long run if you just use a strip of wood. I just think that if you have a problem or a comb you have to cut out, you cut it out, it's ready to go back in the hive. You don't have to uh, glue another strip in or anything like that. So I just find it's less time over the long run. And here's... And here's what it looks like when they start building comb. They build it, like this one here, they built it a little off to the side, which I don't really worry about too much because when they fill this out, at the very top, somehow they, they, they'll build this side up after. So where you worry is when they start trying to go in between the frames, that, that's bad. This is actually pretty good. They're gonna build this down the rest of the way and then they will fill in the edges and they will actually fill in this side because they want to use as much space in the hive as they can. So that is almost perfect for a start anyways. How I build my boxes are a little different than a lot of people. I didn't think of it though. Uh, it, it's the Alaskan Extension Office, I believe. Uh, and it has a beekeeping, how to start beekeeping thing and they show how they build these boxes like at least a picture of it i can't remember and i thought this was the best design because making those box joints are like crazy like it takes a bit of time and a little bit of work but just butt joining it and, and screwing it is bad too because it doesn't have as much strength uh, especially like warping wood and everything so i found this was like a little bit of a happy medium and it worked good for me okay so the way I make the corners is there's one big tab for one side one big tab for the other and this gives a pretty strong corner it's not like a full box joint it's probably not as strong as a full box joint but it's much stronger than just a butt joint and nailed and glued and I, I just found it worked really well so I got away from cutting notches in the uh, high bodies I noticed I always have strips of wood around and I can glue them and staple them and you have a much bigger surface to hold on to so I just find it works better. Okay so now I'm going to lift the box off. So 
So this is my bottom board. It's a screen bottom board. I make them myself and they work pretty good. So I don't know if I'll continue having all my hive screen bottom boards because I haven't noticed a big difference in the amount of mites in the hive if I have a screen bottom board or not. So I might start doing a little bit of a test, some solid, some screen, and just see if it makes any difference. Uh, so that is the equipment I use. And I hope you guys have a good one.